of guys gave it a one, two, and two, and it's discussion day? Teaching day, maybe? And today we're gonna talk about, um, commenting things before you know what you're talking about. <laughs> the last video I made was the top 10 weirdest type combos in Yu-Gi-Oh! Ryan did his due diligence and gave me a spreadsheet showing every single attribute and type combination there was in the game. And that spreadsheet showed how many monsters make up each of those type combos, like Fire Pyro or Water Aqua. And then, going by the raw numbers, we compile the list of 10 entries in descending order from most least supported to least least supported. <laughs> the bottom 10 entries all either had two, one, or zero entries that made up that type combination. The very last entry on the list, entry number one, had zero representatives for that type combination. The type combination was Pyro Water and Fish Fire. And then at some point I mentioned that it was a complete damn shame that the ones we have zero of are Pyro Water and Fire Fish. Ah, why couldn't it have been Aquafire? The universe would have been perfectly balanced, as all things should be. If instead of Fire Fish, it was Fire Aqua. And because of that, people were quick to enter the comments to try to correct me on a thing that isn't true. Fucking idiot. Where is Fire Aqua? You forgot Fire Aqua monsters. There is a Aqua Fire monster. It is Velina called Fire Kraken. What about Fire Kraken? There is an Aqua type Fire Element monster. Surprised Fire Kraken wasn't on this list. Fire Aqua. Hold on, is Fire Kraken a fire fish or is it a fiend? <sighs> Divinator has never seen Fire Kraken. It's a fire at Traboot. Aqua monster, I believe. It is also vanilla, but it's been years since I've seen their card back when schools held tournaments during lunch winner got to go home early. Good times was my high school champion. There is Fire Aqua, Fire Kraken coming this summer. Fire Kraken is Aqua Fire. <laughs> oh really, is it now? I can't believe Carbo Crab didn't make it on this list. Carbo Crab was the one that you thought? <laughs> well, did Divinator forget about the Fire Aqua Monster Fire Kraken? I'm sad to say all of you, but actually out there, there is actually nine monsters that are Fire Aqua. Number 10 had two entries. Nine is bigger than two. We've got Fire Kraken, Carbo Crab, and the entire Sioux Ship archetype. There was a few comments that expressed that it was somehow unfair that Sioux Ships uh, knocked Fire Aqua off the list, as if Fire Aqua was robbed somehow. Like it is some sort of uh, sentient being and not just a nebulous concept, and is therefore able to be disappointed. <laughs> So I think what happened here was, not that people are just, I don't know, dumb. I think what happened was they're remembering Fire Kraken, this obscure, weird vanilla monster from early in the game's history, and not understanding that it has been 25 years and more cards have come out since then. Let's say you're on one of Divinator's videos and you want to comment something, but you're not entirely sure if Dave is incorrect about a thing. Well, if you've ever watched my streams, you'd know that it's probably a 50-50 shot. <laughs> But before you roll those dice, flip that coin, take that chance, there is a resource you can use, google.com. <laughs> the Yu-Gi-Oh card database. You could use EDO Pro or Omega or whatever to do a similar function, but everybody has access to the card database. I think it's actually a useful tool that's underutilized. All right, guys, so we're at the official Yu-Gi-Oh card database. This is on Konami's website. You can literally type in Yu-Gi-Oh card database on Google and it will come up. Uh, if we use the card search here, uh, you'll notice that like you have a million different options. So you got ranks and arrows for like your link rating. This looks like a D-pad on a video game or whatever. <laughs> you got a little and or uh, logic gate there, and then like, all this other hoo-ha. Like this is pretty. This is pretty interesting actually. So uh, you know, just for an example, I guess we're gonna do fire, and we're gonna do where is that aqua baby? Why isn't this? Why isn't this in alphabetical uh, order? That's an interesting question. All right, so fire aqua search. Nine results! We got the Carbo Crab, the Fire Kraken, and then a bunch of Sioux ships. See? You, you, this is all you all you had to do! This is all you had to do! You know what else you can use the internet for? Using my link in the description below to go to MetaMat's website and use the code TROLLTHEMETA at checkout to get 10% off your custom cloth playmat. <laughs> yes! I'm gonna good sneak them in there. Don't go and harass people, you know, people just sometimes say things before they think, and this has made it all in good fun to laugh at something that was uh, driving me batty for a few days because it gets sent right to my phone when you guys comment on a video. 
So, when you have a million notifications talking about fire kraken, you wanna, you wanna scream. But yes, this is all in good fun. And I thought I could use this as an opportunity not only to, you know, laugh at some unfortunate comments, but also to teach you guys about the card database is something that I don't think enough people use. It's actually pretty useful and its filtering system is actually quite robust. So anyway, guys, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Join us next week. I think we're gonna do the opposite video, the most represented type combos. It is, again, academically interesting, but it's gonna be a bunch of crap you could probably guess without actually, actually knowing the numbers because it's what you would expect. Make sure you guys join the Discord, link in the description below, which is where most of my lists are created. And for instance, the list coming out next week, I'm gonna have the Discord uh, try to come up with an archetype that exemplifies that well-supported type combo in order to, I don't know, have a have something floating next to my head while I speak. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and remember guys, if you don't troll the meta who will, uh, everyone type fire kraken in the comments below. I need more Kraken. Just a quick special thank you to all my supporters over on Patreon. You guys make the whole channel possible. You guys have no idea how much it means to me that you guys do that. If you guys want to be part of the Goblet Attack Force, link for the Patreon down in the description below. Dueling takes both luck and skill. Show this by pressing the subscribe and notification buttons. Now, bear witness to these other Davinator 1212 videos. Oh, Dion. What is it, Master? It's time to apply the ointment. Mm. Come help me with this. I should have left with Ishizu. I can't reach. <laughs>